Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. And again, we want to thank everybody that's supporting us over on Patreon. As over there, you will get unique videos uh, every few days. Here we see chaos over on the Gaza Strip as now very hungry Palestinians were rushing to get food from aid trucks. And then there was an open, open firing upon them. You know, this is just, it's almost beyond uh, words. Uh, it's pretty, really horrible, you know, because that had to have been planned and putting people in a desperate situation. And then it's like shooting fish in a barrel. It's so unfair. And then what's going on in the minds of those who are actually pulling that trigger i mean what's going on here this is not okay i think those who are so openly um harming people they've got to be on some type of something you know some type of altering mind altering uh device or substance or something to be able to to just do that to starving people i'm not able to really connect with the level of evil on this it's horrible well, we know, irregardless of what's, what country's military you go into, for the most part, they're going to give you a physical, and they're going to give you certain things. And some things, ouch. And, you know, that could include things that make people act in ways that maybe they normally would not act. And so we want to send our prayers and best wishes out there for everybody that's suffering out there, not just there, but everywhere. Here you have Madrid, you have the government of Spain just cracking down mercilessly on the farmers that have been protesting. Yeah, you know, you can always find people that will take money to do anything really there are some of those out there like that i think that's the minority but often is the case the majority will stand around very very placidly and you know not want to uh, get pulled into any sort of direct conflict and of course we're always advocating that we need peaceful peaceful change and what the system utilizes is is all, a lot of different tools to manipulate the consciousness of the masses. And this is becoming more and more evident for more and more people, thankfully. But unfortunately, it, it really isn't fast enough. Here is a homeowner coming to find somebody is living in his house. And that person basically says to him, uh, it's my house now, and this hammer says so. So you better hightail it out. This is all part of what we've been talking about forever now, it seems. It's, it's part of the chaos in this period of really the, the decay of the system that's in place and all the manipulation that we are, more of us are clearly seeing through. This is another Chinese man who crossed into Jacumba, California, illegally with other Chinese nationals. They flew from Turkey into Tijuana, Mexico, before crossing over. Says he's there for economic reasons and wants to work. I keep seeing um, some reports saying China's falling apart economically, and then I'm seeing other photos in China of absolutely gorgeous city streets and subways and buildings, and very, very well-stocked stores. So, yeah, you know, we, we've seen so much theater. We've seen people back in twenty, end of 2019, early 2020, just dropping like flies all over the place. And it was a foreshadowing of what was to come. And the reality is you, you can't really tell just by looking at something if it's really scripted if it's now uh, just something that has been fabricated fabricated in somebody's computer because you know all the technology we have it, it makes it almost impossible to tell you have to feel into it and that's what we're always trying to get people to do is start to use 
what would be called your paranormal abilities, but they're normal. Humans are being dumbed down. This is this is the reality, and there's proof that they're being dumbed down. And you know, it's done in many different ways. Here's another protest over in Athens due to the cost of living, unrealistic taxes, and low pay for farmers. Yeah, the insanity that the system pushes on us as more and more are awakening and knowing, you know, this isn't correct. <laughs> as much as they want to say something is something, you know, you're looking at a duck and they're going to call it a cat and they're going to just keep insisting that's a cat, but it's quacking. That's a cat. But it seems to enjoy swimming around in the pond with its tail feathers moving. That's a cat. No, we know it's not a cat. It's a duck. But they'll keep telling you it's a cat until the end of time. They have a vested interest in, in getting you to believe what they're telling you. Iran has provided Russia with about 400 powerful surface-to-surface -surface ballistic missiles in four shipments since early January. Just since early January, more coming. You know, again, uh, the, Iran is a country that's been sanctioned by the U.S. and other NATO countries for so long. And you got to wonder, when did it happen that all of a sudden, you know, they're now mass producing this type of arm and armament? Because everything is switched almost overnight. If you look at military rankings, now you'll see Russia is literally at the top of the heap. And the U.S. is, is floundering. It, it's all the real money which the real money system well the money system is an illusion it it's there's nothing real about it the only thing that makes it real is everybody participating in it and you might say well you know certain families they're only worth this little amount you know 100 million 200 million that's more than <laughs> probably everybody in this town and maybe everybody in this county uh, put together in, in some parts of the country, yet it might seem trifling compared to people like Bezos and Musk and etc. But the reality is, if they need anything, they'll get it. They don't even have to worry about printing it. They could just add a digit. It's all just a, an illusion. Um, you know, that one where uh, cashless society, I think that one is the scariest because so many people are already on board and that's really all you need is enough people to believe in an idea that something exists but it doesn't exist i mean that's to me that's like playing pretend you know that's like that's like writing something down on paper showing everybody and saying okay we're all just gonna agree to this one thing and we're gonna do what it says without any kind of backup you know it just makes me nervous for sure and we have the Pentagon finally admitting that they did lose a drone, as Yemen had said they had shot down a Reaper. And over here, we see another Boeing 757 make an emergency landing after uh, it was forced to divert from Boston uh, to Denver after passengers noticed the plane's wing was falling apart. Hmm. Something wrong with quality control. Something wrong with inspections. I got a feeling there's a lot of people that are on life support right now. To put it very, very plain, it feels like a huge population, huge percentage of the population is kind of on life support. And we've talked about the reality of a zombie apocalypse. There was another video from a couple days ago where it showed a pilot on his way in. He, he literally scraped uh, one side of the wing coming in and landing. I, I don't think people are thinking well. I don't think people are feeling right. There's a lot of reasons to all this. There's mudslides, by the way, shutting down California Highway amid that atmospheric river. And so this is um, all lanes of the PCH Pal uh, Pacific Coastal Highway are closed just west of Coral Sin in Malibu due to mudslides. No estimated time of getting it open. Again, all this is adding a lot of weight to the San Andreas Fault. Uh, absolutely. Then you had another unruly American Airlines passenger restrained by others after they tried to open the emergency door in flight. 
seem like the natural thing to do, right? Let's just uh, let's get a good look from 35,000 feet. I know, and, and there's a lot of these cases happening, and it's uh, more and more and more, and it's the same thing. You have to wonder what is going on inside of people's heads that they think that they need to do this. It's like this compelling type of energy that they really cannot resist or go against and somehow rationalizing it in their mind. It's just, uh, again, not okay. No. And really, when you look at all the trends out there, they're all heading in the wrong direction. Researchers find IQ scores dropping since the 1970s. Since the 1970s. That's basically 50 years. You know, they've been dropping for 50 years. There's a whole lot of correlation that can be done that the uh, power structure will again just say there's, there's, there's no connection between this and that. No connection between this and that at all, even though, you know, you could get data on top of data that's going to show a direct correlation. They'll keep arguing that there's no, no evidence. There's no evidence. There's no evidence. Again, it's, it's all about calling uh, a duck a cat or a cat a duck this in fact you know that trend's been going on really for like 70 years when you look at it and it, it does coincide with a lot of things by the way everything you need to know about week one of the second phase of the fluoride lawsuit yes on january 20, uh, 31st second phase of a fluoride lawsuit resumed in san francisco california after nearly four years of delays Proceedings are the latest in an eight-year legal battle between the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency and the Fluoride Action Network. The lawsuit began following the EPA's 2016 decision to deny the plaintiff's petition under the Toxic Substances Control Act. The FAN is attempting to prove that fluoride is a neurotoxin and should be regulated or banned under the TSCA. Um, Absolutely. I mean, all we got to do is really look to history and, and we'll see. Sodium fluoride. There you go. Straight out. Poison. Hello. Poison. This is the chemical and protective clothing used in Wilmington, Massachusetts, where fluoridation was abandoned after a seven years trial. But it didn't stop Hitler because he found it was very effective at making people very, very dull. And placid, kind of like zombies. By the way, it sure does make a real good bug killer, rat killer. It's going to get rid of the roaches, the crickets, water bugs, silverfish. It was sold as a pesticide and they get you to, to drink it. The insanity of this world. Negligent government. I think it's a darker word than negligent and you know here it is again talking about what's really happening because i was watching one study where they were showing that the 5g signal in uh just classrooms in general is is as strong as standing with your head right next to a microwave oven and all day long that you're in the classroom all and people are starting to wake up to this yep Yep. Do you think it's all just a bunch of coincidences? Those 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 funny clouds that are laced with, well, a lot of other neurotoxic heavy metals. By the way, cilantro, great, great for getting rid of uh, heavy metals. And then you have, you know, the 5G, which was a military technology, military application, military application. How about, you know, Roundup? All the years people have been using Roundup. It goes on and on and on. Are, is this just all bad decisions? Or are these decisions very purposeful? New study found varying concentrations of microplastics in human placentas, polyurethane or polyethylene being the most prevalent type. Previous research shows correlations between increasing microplastic levels in human tissue 
and incidences of health issues like IBD, irritable, irritable bowel uh, syndrome, colon cancer, reduced sperm counts. They enter the human body through so many pathways. Obviously, your food containers, drinking water, uh, even in the air as, as they waft down from above. Personal care products like cosmetics and toothpaste and indirect exposure from mother to fetus through the placenta. And it's expected to double the microplastic contamination every 10 to 15 years. So we're not at the end of this. And in fact, it is getting worse. And by the way, the U.S. leads the way in dropping life expectancy like we've never seen. I mean, life expectancy is dropping everywhere pretty much. But the U.S., it's dropping off a cliff. But, you know, hey, we had Putin talking himself about we don't do GMOs. No, we don't do that. De declining birth rates calls for concern because they're everywhere. Now, the U.S., yes, and there's more U.S. babies dying before their first birthday now than we've seen in past years. For 70 years, fertility rates have decreased worldwide. So, okay, IQs have been dropping, fertility rates are dropping, life expectancy is dropping. Why is all the health care money increasing? Why is all the profits soaring for big FARMA? Tamarisol is a mercury compound which is used as a preservative in ouchies. Aluminum, which does come down from the clouds above as well, is also one of the six adjuvants approved by the FDA for use in the ouchies. Uh, together, they give you these cool white fibers. Interesting. Interesting. Also, it'll help to bring you to Alzheimer's and declining cognizant function. And this is a real ad. I've shown this once before. This is a real ad to show you how some things that are just, we could look at them today and say, that was barbaric, that was crazy, that was stupid, and they were totally approved. Your MD would say, yeah, oh, you've been depressed, Mary you might need a full frontal lobotomy because we know it's going to help with schizophrenia, panic disorder, OCD, chronic pain, violent outbursts, Alzheimer's, etc., etc. Sure, I mean, you can't make this stuff up. How about bloodletting, like, you know, with leeches? It was accepted. It was what people did. And here's an ad. Leeches, leeches, warranted, healthy. Wholesale for exportation, too. Yeah, we'll deliver them all across London so you, you could have them drink your blood. What was accepted yesterday is now ridiculed today. What has been accepted today and in the relatively you know recent past will be ridiculed tomorrow. You know, I look at this information and how easy it is to find. I mean, it's just... It's right there for consumption. And all of these politicians, the ones on the left, the ones on the right, they all have something to gain from, <clears throat> from everything. Everything that we've just pointed out here, as long as they ignore it. I mean, as long as they truly ignore it. This information is out there for anybody. And I, don't, I think the only reason they don't look at it is because they know that they have to follow a, a script. So anybody, you know, on the left or on the right, they really don't give a crap about what happens to us. They don't care at all. They just keep people looking in this direction, that direction, this direction, that direction. And all the while, I mean, people are being forced to ingest and absorb all kinds of neurotoxins and then even being forced to take it in their body or else you know you're going to lose your job and this is going to happen and that is going to happen and people are just trying to do the right thing they're trying to do what they think is right and it you know it doesn't really matter if we see it as something wrong they're trying to do what's right for them and and their heart chakra what they need to do and there's all this information that um 
if if it were like acted on in a government that we pay our taxes to and they looked at it, it wouldn't be happening unless the government is completely corrupt. You know, I, I mean, really, it's not hard to find this information and it's just nauseating. No, and it's not hard to tie all the different pieces of this network together if we can look past our um, societal conditioning. So you have Crane setting up vertical con uh, construction of Mount Sinai's new cancer center in Miami Beach, expected to be completed by 2025. Yeah, this is just enormous. It's a huge new cancer center. And you can see who has invested a ton in, in the cancer business. Obviously, it's all the usual people. You could name them off as well as I could. But when you look at this, Mount Sinai, Mount Sinai in the cancer business, right? Mount Sinai. Mount Sinai is where Moses met God. Ah, yes. Oh, yes. <sighs> Yep, Mount Sinai, Mount Sinai. It's where Moses met God and, you know, that whole thing, et cetera, et cetera. And actually, just break down Sinai. What do you have? You have sin and you have AI. There was a Canaanite town called AI, too. And, of course, AI is the symbol for artificial intelligence, if we, you know, go ahead and condense that. The reality is, you know, all this is part of an artificial intelligence program of a very, very high nature. And, you know, it just, it just makes me crack up and at the same time shake my head when I see so many people. There was one channel that was giving homage to Elon as God, basically. It was like the Elon Musk appreciation channel and just going over all the wonderful things Elon's done for us. And all the amazing things AI is going to do for us. And I'm thinking, well, the AI that's really in place has been in place the entire time uh, we've been in this Kali Yuga. In fact, it's, it's far more ancient than most people can understand. The other thing, too, is if you just simply go over and look into the Sumerian stories, which are thousands of years older, you'll find that this area was off limits to humans. That's why it was, quote-unquote, sacred ground. It's because only the Anunnaki were allowed to actually go into this area because this was, you know, it, it was their private zone. He, no humans allowed. You might get zapped. It won't be by F-I-V-E-G. So what are we to do? Well, let's, you know, again, just tell the system we don't want them, we don't need them, we don't acquiesce. We don't go along. Every time we go and we vote for one of their people, we're saying we acknowledge the authority of the system. And if we were talking about this with uh, one of our most beloved friends, our sister, Kristen, and just saying, you know, at what point in time do people start to say, I cannot, I, I just can't pay my taxes. Now, we don't want anybody to get in trouble with paying taxes, and we do pay ours. Um, and it makes us sick because we know what they're using the money for. Do you know uh, that, well, there's interesting things that came through with the Geneva Convention, and um, I'll leave it at that. Maybe we'll go into it deeper uh, in another video. Um, again, so many, there's so many laws in place for when humanity wakes up and ways to keep the rest of humanity asleep while you, uh, you know, lock out the portion of humanity that is awake. But again, the only way to really create a new world is through the upper level control grid. And this control grid, well, what do you think? What do you think? What's your opinion? What's really going on here? You know, I look at the Mount Sinai and the AI and I just think, well, you know, there's your God of the Bible is going to Mount Sinai and it, it is AI. So I hope this clears things up a little bit for some people if they're wondering who's the God of the Bible. It, there you go. There you go. As always, though, source bless, because there is one source of which all of us are basically fractals of that one source. We all have 
you, if you want to look at it as God with the big G, it's residing in you. And it's not really a he or a she because it's beyond that, as really are you too when you're not in the human body. As we are all consciousness having a temporary human experience. So keep your vibes high and namaste. Namaste.